Hello everyone and welcome back to the garden. Now it is sort of spotting with rain and it's cold but it is December so we'll be all right. I'm just going to give you a little look at the garden and at the winter greens and then sort that celeria out, clean it and put the straw around. Just a, only a small job but needs to it. I just thought I'd show you the progress on these plots. I've got them all manured and some's got straw on ready for digging but it's been just too wet to turn the soil and it's no good turning really wet soil, it'll do it no good at all. So Di will just show you. These are the beds that have been manured and strawed. I have to keep going round the edge because the blackbirds and the thrushes keep throwing the straw onto the path so sometimes I'm doing it at this end and the blackbirds at that end throwing it off again. This is the celeriac, I have done that little bit. We have had one or two, they're rather nice. So if I just show you all this that's laid down and take off and I just leave the centres and then put straw around ready for the winter. Uh, so this is what I do. It's a bit, just pull them off. The way to do it is not to pick too many off at once as you pull the plant out of the ground. That's too much for one one pop. That and that. There you go. Take those off. Now this one. That one's breaking quite well. Here's the logo on the compost heap, by the way. Now if I can show you, that one's coming off, look. You can see they're making quite big, quite big roots there. So we'll be able to harvest them soon. They're very, very nice mixed with your potatoes. And then I just take a bit of barley straw and just put it round them. Just keeps that little bit of frost off them. I don't know if you heard that, that's my blackbird in front of that. Just like that look, I'll just tidy it up. Now it looks a bit fluffy at the moment, but with this little bit of rain we're getting, it'll soon wet down and then it won't blow about. Because the trouble is with the dry straw, if you get a lot of wind, it blows straight off the garden. Just pop behind me and I'll take the cover off and show you the winter greens. I do believe there's some cauliflowers in there that want a leaf turning because of the cold weather we've got coming. I've taken the cover off the winter greens. Now this is actually the first time that cover's been off since these plants were set. So obviously as you can see there's a weed or two in there but it's not too bad, I'm quite pleased with that. There's some nice winter broccoli there, look. Some more over here. And you can see they're quite big. Some are still coming, look. Another one here, look. 
there's some nice winter cabbages coming along again no rush let them do it in their own time there's actually one two three four this side and four that side of the cabbage we'll just show the collies these are the winter cauliflower doing very well as you can see what i want to do though is while i've got this cover off is turn a leaf if possible just over the tops another one here look got a lovely color on them and just turn the leaf over another collie here look lovely cauliflowers we will fetch them soon but we're not quite ready for them all yet we're a little bit short of freezer space so we can't uh, take all those this end here there's another row of cabbages winter cabbages or spring kill that's a collie it's not started forming yet this one's failed as you can see but we'll leave it it might make one in the spring now uh, everything here for the winter greens i'm very happy with i'll just keep my eye on the broccolis etc what i might do is put one of the heavy fleeces over the top of the tunnel and then if it does snow or etc these nets do protect them this mesh is very good at protecting them from light frost and light snow before i come out of the here and put the cover back on there's just two more collies behind me i just want to break a leaf on and then we'll cover up and then show you what else we've got in the garden for winter I have to come out and reach over and get this one. Yeah. <laughs> now, as you can see, I haven't been in here to see it to anything weed wise, but looking round, it's not too bad. Really. I've put the cover back on the uh, winter greens very very pleased with them to say they haven't really been touched since we planted them very very pleased now we have as you can see behind me plenty of brussels they're doing very well i don't know if you can see the net although there's holes in it but it just stops the pigeons coming in and landing on the tops because they do like the tops of your brussels we have a few carrots they'll be my type of carrots but there will be carrots a few parsnip that's all that came on the parsnip rows but i've had a little feel around and they're of a good size but i don't dig one up yet we're not quite ready for them just there a few leeks and above the above the strawberry bed as you can see there's a few more leeks and a little bit of celery there still to use up now the kale what's left is for the chickens because they're locked up and they need some greens all this i'm afraid is the pigeons i'll take those off now they soon grow up again if you take them back but it was for the chickens and it's now it's for the chickens the pigeons and the pheasants right that'll be it for this year it doesn't seem a year since we was out here and was everything was empty like it is now but it was hot this year as i say that'll be it so i wish you all a merry christmas and happy new year and we'll see you early in the new year when we'll be seed setting so get those catalogues as soon as they come and get studying ready for buying the seed and then we'll start a new season we'll perhaps go a little bit earlier this year because i need to get the onions etc set so we'll see you then merry christmas happy new year bye now <laughs>